Hello, Davy students, and welcome. All right, so by now you have watched my virtual video on how I did craw cross buns and why I use a backing track. In this second video, I'm going to show you how to find an assignment, how to find music and use the backing track for the assignment, how to record your assignment, and how to submit that assignment. And this is all leading up to us recording music for a virtual concert. Now, um, it's pretty basic. I'm going to go through lots of different screencasts in this video to highlight each one of those bullet points. And after I go through a few of them, I'll go through a sample video of me actually bringing my instrument, putting the headphones on, and going through it. It shouldn't take very long, but hopefully this will answer all your questions. And then after you watch this video, you'll be prepared to record hot cross buns in Flipgrid and make it a success, okay? So, thank you for watching and good luck. All right, so we're gonna start find how to find the assignment. Okay, most of you are probably already in Flipgrid and you found the assignment, but just in case you're watching this and you didn't find the assignment yet, it will be found in your Google Classroom. Right now I'm under my son's fourth grade account. We're going to an old sixth grade choir class, just using this as a test. And you'll see it under, it says Thursday, recording hot cross buns. And for those of you who are using this, it's in week three, okay? So as you can see right here, we have the Flipgrid link. We have the hot cross buns backing track. And we have the hot cross buns folder. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the folder so you can find the music. All right. All right. And then as you can see, I have all the different instruments here. And let's just say you're an alto sax player. So this would be your music for that, all right? Now, you're gonna need a few windows up. So one of the ways to open a new window is just drag this outside. And so we still have that in the background as you see right over here, okay? And now we need to get the backing track up, okay? So this is the backing track. Okay, and at the beginning of the backing track, you'll hear me say one, two, one, two, three, then I breathe, and then we play. If you could count along just the second one, two, and then the three. So I'll go one, two, and then you start counting one, two, three. You'll take a breath and then play. When I line up the videos and the recordings, you saying one, two, three helps me line it up a lot quicker than me just listening for when you're starting, okay? So you will need this window up too. Okay, um, there's a few different ways you could do this. For right now, I'm just going to click um, this classroom split button right here. This will bring up a new window. Okay, and obviously I'm on the wrong account. So let me go to Isaac's account again. Okay, we'll exit out of that to do. And now we just need to get to the Flipgrid assignment. Okay, this is the little icon for Flipgrid in case you didn't know. Okay, that won't take me there though. Okay, so we're going hopping over here. So we're going to need to get three windows up on the screen. Now, if you have more than one screen or you're using your phone, that could work too. But for right now, we're just going to assume everyone's on the same screen. Okay, so now we're getting the Flipgrid assignment, which you've probably already seen. Okay, and this is how we're going to record it. Okay, so we have this window over here. We're going to minimize this, make this nice and small. Okay, and then we have the Flipgrid. We're going to click record a response. So now we have everything set up. We can minimize this too. And we can move this around. Okay, maybe you won't be able to see that. So you make this a little bit bigger. Um, okay, there we go. And you can play any of these lines. So let's say we're going to play the harmony one line. Okay. And you can see over here, now you can add the effects, but that's going to make this go even slower with the Screencastify. So I'm not going to add it. And then basically you want to line them all up. So we have this. We want to hit record on Flipgrid first. And then we want to hit starting here. One, two, three. Good. I don't have an instrument right now, so I'm not recording this. I ended the recording, and then you would, if you, you would hit next, and then if you like what you recorded, it will play it back. 
and then you can submit. All right. Okay. I don't want to hear myself. So luckily you didn't have to hear that because I have headphones on. So the next part of the video, you're going to see me go up to a computer and do this on the screen, putting the headphones on, making sure we have all that. Cause that's a big part of this. Remember to wear the headphones when you are listening to the backing track. Okay. You can't really see them in the video right now, but I am wearing them. Okay. Um, so enjoy that video. All right. Hello. Um, this is a different view of me doing the program. I know it's a little hard to see my computer screen, but as you saw in the previous screencast, I have up the backing track. I have up the music. I'm going to be playing the flute. And then I also have up the flip grid over here. Now, the best thing I have in this video are these headphones. Okay. They're a little old, but they serve a purpose. When you're playing along, you want to hear the backing track, but you don't want me to eventually hear it through the flip grid. I only want to hear you playing, not the backing track. The backing track is for the headphones. That's why we put these on and you won't hear the backing track in this video. I'm actually going to play through it, but I am going to count. Remember, you'll hear one, two on the counter, and then you'll say one, two, three, breathe, and then you'll play. I'm playing the flute part. I will be playing harmony one, just in case you're wondering. So I'm going to open up, record a response, and then I'm going to start the recording. It doesn't matter if you start it early. I'm going to be cutting all that out until you say one, two, three. So I'm going to start the um, this recording back from the beginning. If I can even click there. Oh, there we go. It would help if I plug my headphones in. Okay. Sometimes the MP3 may not work. I just refresh the page and then open the MP3 again. The MP3 only works for a couple minutes, and then it seems like you have to refresh. One, two, three. Okay, and then you would just hit next and you would submit it. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, I hope all the information in this video was valuable to you. Okay, it should work. You should be able to find the music, find the backing track, and just get recording. I look forward to hearing all of your submissions in Flipgrid and have a great day.